Hi, so I just wanted to come on here really quick and share my review, my opinion on some of the Itsy Witsy products that I didn't see a lot of videos on for. Um, I think I saw an, actually a video on TikTok and I had heard about them through Teen Mom a long time ago. But anyways, my interest got brought to them as I started looking for baby stuff and I ended up ordering a bunch of stuff. Um, I watched a million videos on stuff and so here's just a couple things that I didn't see any videos on or... Um, they didn't have a lot of people reviewing them. So I want to start with the Sweetie Soothers from Itsy Ritzy. They're super cute. You get two of them for about, I'll, I'll round it up to $10. You get two of them for $10. I think it's like $8.99 maybe. Um, and they are food grade silicone. So that basically just means that they're non-toxic to your baby to be put in their mouth. And then I also wanted to kind of compare it a little bit to the um, Ryan and Rose Cutie Pat. And this is actually a cutie bit. But I just wanted to show you the um, packaging that it comes in. Um, resealable packaging. Um, so it's cute. This one kind of comes in the box. So this one is $12. So it's actually pretty high priced for a single pacifier. Um, this is the packaging for the one that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so $12 is a lot for one. Um, I just really like this matte black color. And so that's why I ended up getting the Ryan and Rose one. But so far, I really like both of these. I'll start with the Itsy Ritzy one. The Itsy Ritzy Sweetie Soothers. They're so cute. Um, they I got a bunch of different colors, probably more than I need. And some of them have bows. Some of them have like the arrows on them. And they're super cute. So here's one unpacked. Um, it's really flexible silicone. Like I could completely like no effort bend it. Um, it's really lightweight. It's cute. Um, it does kind of, the silicone does have that where it picks up kind of like if you set it on the countertop or somewhere, it's going to have stuff stick to it. So definitely make sure that, you know, you keep white, like baby pacifier wipes on you or your bias sink. Um, and then I'll talk about the Ryan and Rose one. So this is the cutie pat. It is a little bit thicker. This one is made with medical grade silicone. I'm telling you, I watched so many videos. I went on the websites. I looked at all the reviews to find out as much information as I could. Um, so this one's thicker. I wouldn't necessarily say it's heavier, but it is thicker. Um, and what they showed me on one of the videos is that you can pop this middle the nipple in, and here's how you can use it for a teether. Or what's also nice is that I got my ah, my itsy ritzy pacifier. What is it? Passy pod. And in here, just to see, um, I put two in there. So this is the Ryan and Rose is the black, and the itsy ritzy is this kind of yellowish brown color. And you can actually pop the nipple in with the itsy ritzy one as well. Um, so they both do that, which is really nice because then you can put it in here. And while it's in here, you know, there's not much of the nipple that's getting, you know, lint or whatever that may be on here. And you could honestly probably fit another one or you could put a pacifier clip. I've even seen some of the sweetie soothers that come with the animals fit in there. I actually have one, so I'll probably try that later. Um, but overall, I really like these two pacifiers. They're soft. They're really cute. Um, I like that the nipple goes in. And we'll just have to see what baby likes. Baby's not here yet. Um, honestly, if you're looking at both of them, I like the Ryan and Rose because they come with more colors. And I liked the beaded side to them. I really wanted this matte black binky. I don't know why. I just really wanted it. So that's honestly why I got this one. I also um, got a ton of other. I got one of every single style that they have. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I can um, test them out. So if he doesn't like one, at least I have a matte black one that the baby will like. Um, the Ryan and Rose does come in more colors. Um, the one pack was this gray color. And then the other one was that yellow brown kind of color. And then this pack is the, if 
like cream it's like a and then like a light tan brown and i also got a couple other colors in other packs um the next product that i wanted to do a opinion on was the bib clips from both because with my first she always lost her pacifier um we would have to run to the store to get more if we couldn't find them or we lost them so i'm trying really hard with this baby to not have to buy a ton so i have a nice stockpile to start um, but here's the itty ritzy sweetie strap and this one is that silicone which i like so it's not i don't have to worry about strings breaking of course um they all mentioned you that you probably want to check make sure there's no tears or anything before you give it to the baby but it's super cute and i got a couple colors i think i got a couple different blues to go with some of the blue pacifiers that i got from itsy ritzy and then i also got this one to go with these colors and then i also got the cutie clip from ryan and rose and i got this one on amazon but they do have ryan and rose has a ton of different styles of clips on their website um as well as itsy ritzy they have um this is just a braided one i don't know uh, but they have different styles too but the ryan and rose definitely they have a ton of different ones they have ones with wood pieces they have fabric ones and they have silicone ones um i just like the silicone to kind of go with the one that i got and so this one's this one's in a peeled package to take it out so this is the ryan and rose bib clip it's super cute it you know it feels pretty durable it's kind of that same thickness that i'm feeling with um the pacifier and it's super cute so i'll show you them together so i got this to go together i know doing the most but super cute so i'm happy with it hopefully baby likes it so we'll find out once baby finally gets here um, and then this is the Ryan or ah, the itsy ritzy one. I'm gonna take it off the packaging. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here's this one. It's a little bit longer in length. Um, so maybe when your baby's a little bit older, this one could be a little bit better. And as you have a newborn, um, a little bit shorter clip might be nicer because their bodies are a little bit smaller. Um, and so I'll hook it onto here. I saw, where was it? Yeah, you're supposed to hook it onto the loop of the pacifier so that it, it is a little bit safer. So that none of the breathing holes are covered up by the, by the string. Um, but you could definitely do it either way. Depends on how you want to do it. I'll probably try out both, see which one works best. But here's these two clipped together. So really cute. This is that same, same material that I feel here. It's a little bit more stretchy. This is stretchier. And this is kind of a little bit harder. It could just be because the Ryan and Rose is medical grade. And this is food grade. So food grade, of course, you know, it's probably going to be a a little bit more flexible but they're both really flexible i really like both of them um, i'm excited to try them both i maybe i'll have a favorite maybe i won't so we'll just have to find out um i will say this is a stage one so a baby with no teeth from ryan and rose and it seems like it's a little bit shorter i don't know if that'll make a difference in this one then the it's even teeth a little bit longer um and then this part is a little bit thicker too but hopefully that helps you get an idea of what you're getting what you're ordering if you're ordering looking between itsy ritzy or if you're looking at ryan and rose i wouldn't say one is better than the other um maybe it'll just depend on what baby likes but um the itsy ritzy is definitely more cost effective or cost friendly I believe the pacifier clip, I got it on their Black Friday sale, so I think it was like $4, so I got a good deal, but I think they're regularly like 6 The Ryan and Rose one was $14. I know, I paid way too much. I just wanted my cute little matte black matching. Um, so Ryan and Rose is going to be more expensive. I'm not sure why they charge much more. Maybe the medical silicone cost more. I, I really don't know. Um, but they are both great to me so far and I'm really excited to try them out.